2013 was an eventful year. Against a backdrop of deepening environmental crisis, the Greenpeace Southeast Asia team, under our ABLE Executive Director, not only strengthened our campaigns locally, but also generated impact regionally and around the globe. The team continues to equip and transform itself to successfully respond to each new challenge. ASEAN, taken together, is among the top 10 economies in terms of growth and population. But the future of our region hangs in balance. The Southeast Asia region is recognized as one of the most vulnerable to climate change. At the same time, the impending ASEAN economic integration pegged for 2015 will bring additional environmental pressures in a region already struggling to meet ever-increasing needs for food, energy, water, and other resources. The job of Greenpeace, now more significant than ever, is to help move Southeast Asia to a development pathway that combines environmental protection with social and economic well-being. To do this, we have strengthened not only our campaigning capacity, but also our mobilizing capacity in the region. The work in Southeast Asia creates global impact and increasingly global issues impact our region and our countries. In 2013, to maximize impact, we have embarked in growing our Southeast Asia communities on the ground and in the web. We responded to local and regional issues alongside our grassroots and virtual communities. And together, we've been able to win global campaigns. The Greenpeace team has successfully moved Indonesia's largest pulp and paper manufacturer to stop deforestation. We've launched a new regional campaign to defend the oceans and driven local movements to protect our region's rivers, to stop water pollution globally and locally. The continued work in the Philippines with farmer groups led to a landmark court victory to keep our food GMO free. In support of an international campaign to protect the Arctic, tens of thousands of Southeast Asians joined millions of people around the world in the call to release the Arctic 30, our activists who braved arrest to protect one of the world's last pristine environments. We could not have done all this without you. However, the challenges we need to overcome continue to grow bigger. Climate change and extreme weather is no longer a thing of the future. We witnessed Typhoon Haiyan, the strongest cyclone to make landfall in history, destroying entire towns and cities in the Philippines. The imperative to act against environmental destruction becomes stronger every year. Together with you, whether bearing witness or making our voices heard on the internet, the movement we're building to build a green and peaceful future is stronger than ever. More challenges lie ahead, and we will face it side by side, acting locally with a global purpose to achieve our mission to protect our environment for future generations. Thank you on behalf of the Greenpeace Southeast Asian Board.